Good evening. Maureen is off today. The case involving a killing within an upstate New York cult that captured national attention a few years ago resurfaced in Rochester today. One of the killers appealed her sentence, and a panel of judges heard her attorney's arguments this morning. I was there to hear why Sarah Ferguson thought her sentence was too stiff. This is Lucas Leonard, a teenager smiling in a home video. Several of the family members around him that day took part in the 2015 beating inside Word of Life Church near Utica that took Lucas's life. The details still haunt prosecutors in Oneida County. At one point, after more than 30 blows, uh, specifically directed at these boys' groins, they had dropped to the ground a couple of times, were forced to get back up and take more. And she, uh, 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 the, her, the father, noticed that uh, Lucas, who, de who was deceased, was bleeding and said so out loud and, and finally made the beating stop. Several members of the cult are now in prison, including Lucas's sister, Sarah Ferguson. She got the most time, 25 years, for first degree manslaughter. Here's video of her at the police station after the assault. Today, her attorney argued before the appellate court in Rochester that the first-degree manslaughter charge was too much because Ferguson had not intended serious harm. He also asked for a lighter sentence, claiming Ferguson feels remorse. Susan Ashline, author of the book that details the cult and crime, said this outside court, having spoken to the family. There is no remorse from her. There's no level of accountability from her. To this day, as far as I know, the family has said she is still kind of stuck in that cult mentality and they have expressed to me coming to this court appearance today that they believe she hasn't shown any remorse no responsibility and that she's a danger to people until she accepts that responsibility they want her to stay in there unless and until she can take accountability for her actions we expect to hear the court's ruling on this appeal later this month. Also, Ashline's book is called Without a Prayer. My interview with her is in the Adam interview section over at rochesterfirst.com.